Hey everyone, it's Aaron from WPKB and in this video we're going to take you through the social share optimization in Easy Social Share Buttons. What this will do is it'll set up your website to have a richer shared experience when people post your content onto social networks regardless of whether they use the plugin or not. Uh, the first option we have is for a default share image. Now if a post or a page doesn't have a featured image or a custom setting for the shared image uh, it can actually default to using something else. So, so what you'd probably have is an image in your media library that you could go and find and you could use that. And if it was one of the images from your media library, it'd be something like this, you know, your, your domain name, WP content uploads, year, month, day, uh, then the name of the image. Uh, this is not actually a real image, it's just one that I've created now. But that's generally speaking how you would set it up, just getting the URL of the image you want to be your default image and pasting it in there. Next, we can choose to extract full content when generating a description. Uh, now it says, if you see short codes in your description, activate this content to extract as full rendered content. Uh, handy to turn that off just in the instance that you are having issues with short codes displaying, uh, but we're just gonna turn that on in preparation anyway. Uh, then we just get to choose the open graph settings. Now, as you can see, we're automatically generating and inserting open graph meta tags for posts and pages. Uh, as we've sort of mentioned in a previous video, you may already have a plugin taking care of this for you, such as WordPress SEO or you know, any other number of SEO plugins for WordPress. So if you actually do have a plugin such as that taking care of this for you, you probably wouldn't want to actually turn this on, but we don't. So we're going to go ahead with this setup. Uh, what we next do is set up the Facebook page URL. I'm just putting in the WPKB Facebook URL there because that's the easiest thing you'd have to do. Next, enter the Facebook admins of that page, uh, which would be as their Facebook ID, so facebook.com slash whatever that next little part is, so it could be user1234, uh, and then the Facebook application ID in the event you want to use Facebook Insights uh, to have a little bit more data on your website. We don't have an application ID set up uh, for the purpose of this tutorial, but they're really easy to do. so. If you don't have one, it's, it's definitely worthwhile getting that and getting it set up and putting it in there. Then we just come down to the Twitter cards data. Uh, as you can see, we can choose to automatically generate and insert Twitter card meta tags for posts and pages. I think that's handy to use. You just choose a Twitter site username, which we'll just put in ours, which is wpkv.com, and then choose a default Twitter card type. You can go summary or summary with image. It's up to you what you want to choose. Summary with image is good if you do have images and featured images and so on set. Otherwise, just using summary is fine. Then we just get down to Google schema.org uh, data setup. Uh, this is to set up Google authorship, which has been more or less discontinued at the moment, but you can still set this up if you want. So if you did want to do that, you would just simply select this option and then put in your author page there, the post at the end, and then just the Google Plus page there. Uh, then you would also choose to set the Google schema.org base markup, which is the name description image uh, and so on. Uh, so that's all you need to do when it comes to the social share optimization. As mentioned earlier, it will give a better experience for users when they're actually sharing your content across social networks. Uh, of course, just remembering to hit update settings when you finish making changes here. If you have any questions about what we've covered in this video, please feel free to ask in the comments below. Uh, otherwise, if you've enjoyed the video, please hit subscribe for more.